What do I mean by this? Our financial, current financial problem has to do with the way that we view and use money. As Guinness, a book writer was saying, money can never be treated as a purely economic issue. Hindi lang economic issue ito. It is always a spiritual and moral issue first, precisely to pretend that money is neutral and simply a medium of change is to leave ourselves vulnerable to its power as something more, an idol to which we can become enslaved. And probably we need to acknowledge that I have a wrong view or belief about money, such as what? That this is my money and not God's money. This is mine. I worked hard for this. I want to spend the way that I would like to spend it without even considering, Lord, where should I actually spend my money? Is money just a, a form of enjoyment and we get satisfaction by buying things again? Because these things that we bought make us happy. Is money just a standard symbol? Oh, kita na naman sa Pilipinas. I have a new car. Oh. And people comment, Buti ka pa? You're earning dollars? Buti ka pa? You now have a house, a car. And that causes envy from others. Because we can pretend we're okay financially because they see us, we post them on Facebooks. This is what I got. But our friends and family back home, they do not understand that you're actually struggling financially. William Barclay, the great, great Scottish pastor and theologian, once said about money. He said, money in self is neither good nor bad. It's simply dangerous in that the love of it may become bad. With money, a man can do much good. With money, he can do much evil. With money, a man can selfishly serve his own desires. With money, he can generously answer to the cry of his neighbor's need. With money, a money, a man can buy his, his way to the forbidden things, facilitate the path of wrongdoing. With money, he can make it easier for someone else to live as God meant him to live. Money brings power. And power is always a double-edged thing, for it is powerful to good and powerful to you. Go. Where we are right now financially is because there's a wrong view about money, the way that we handle our financial problems, and even, friends, the way that we handle our blessings. How do we handle promotions? How do we handle the windfall financially? When God blesses us with excess, the way that you handle your finances can be a problem if don't even realize that there is a problem. Dave Ramsey, a Christian financial advisor, he said, as a culture, we are ignorant of what money is and how to handle it. Ignorance is not lack of intelligence, it is lack of knowledge on a particular subject. And for those who are the diaspora, the Filipinos, I came across this at inquire.net. Daxim L. Lucas said, the financial literacy level of the average Filipino remains alarmingly low. A problem that begins with poor childhood, education that persists until their adult years, according to the country's financial regulator. I heard one time, it was, I think... Uh, the pastor of North Point Church, Andy Stanley, who said, no, when my kids are still small, I would teach them the principles on finances. I heard saying, I actually bought three jars, and each jar represents something. And all his kids would understand what each jar would mean. The first jar is the jar of every time you get something, you put 10% of what you get into the first door because that, you know, that is your offering to the Lord. 
And he said, you know, there's another jar, a second jar, and there's the 10% of, you know, what you get, what you receive, and save it. And the other 80% of what you get, you put that in the third jar, and that's where you get the money you need to be able to spend. We hope you enjoyed and learned much from the message. If you want to continue the conversation, check below for further discussion questions. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video and our YouTube channel to your family and loved ones. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you next time.